what is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be building a uh, stand for this tank outside. So it is a 850 litre tank roughly something like that. It's six foot long uh, by 600 by 780 in height. So it's a big old tank, it's well heavy lifting it around here. But this is what you're going to need to build the tank. Um, you don't need a chop saw, but I've got one, because uh, I use chop saw most days. You're gonna need a combi drill, you're gonna need an impact driver. You could you could actually get away with just the combi if you haven't got an impact driver, because you can just flop the head over, put it straight in the drill. You need yourself a decent set square. Um, decent screws, I've got some 90 mil, uh, are they 100? No, they are 90, look, 90 mil screws. Just some uh, wood screws, you need some good ones. Don't buy any cheap screws. You need a couple of good clamps. Um, I've got my packers off my van as well, I've got my window packers. Um, a hammer, you always, always need a hammer, you trust me, you'll need it at some point. But that's what we're going to need. And the materials, uh, I've got 3v2 here, which I'm probably not going to use. I've got all this stuff spare from jobs I've got. And um, I'm going to use this 4v2, which I've got as well. So I've got 10 lengths of 4v2 there um, to build a stand. And you're going to need as well, I've got myself some ply here as well, some marine ply. We're just going to use so this is 18 mil thick it's good stuff goes on top of the stand obviously and then to top it all off you need a bit of polystyrene as well so i've got this bit of polystyrene which is obviously going to sit on top of the um the ply and then the tanks go straight on top of that so let's get cracking and start making this stand right the first thing you want to do actually before i say so you need to um I've got to say earlier, you need to get yourself a tape obviously, because obviously you're going to do measurements and stuff. But the first thing you need to do now is measure the tank. So there we've got 610 mil. This way, you're going to have like 1830. Yeah, 1830 we've got here. So what we need to do, that's the diameter of the tank now. So 1830 by 620, but I'm going to go like 10 mil over. So the tank's got a little bit of discrepancy to move about. So we'll make it, let's go 630. by 1850. So write this down. 630, 1850. Right, so I'm gonna cut these bits here at 1850, but obviously I'm not gonna cut these bits at 630 because the four by two is gonna come inside and it's gonna make these bits smaller. So let's cut these first and we can measure it all out and find out how big these bits are gonna be. That's our 1850s cut, but now we need to put our 630 cut for the um, the whips. But it's not really 630 when cut because obviously you've got the 42. So you need to put them together, make sure it's 630, right about there, then measure that gap there, 540. So we need to cut three more bits of people out at 540, which is going to be the braces for here. Let's do that now. Okay, so that's that built now. Let me show you. So that's basically what the, the first bit looks like. We've got to build another one of these now, but I've also got to screw this one together. So let's screw this all together and get it all nice and secure, and let's build another one. Okay, that's the first bit of the tank stand built. Nice and solid, nice and sturdy. 
Let's go and build another one, just like this. Just tried it up against the tank. Look at it, it's lovely, look. So you've got about 10 mil overhang there, 10 mil overhang there, so it's gonna be perfect. All the way, same here as well. Lovely, that's what you wanna do. And then another one of them, and we can start screwing it all together. Right, okay, so that's both of them done now, let me show you. So, that's what they look like. I've, I've laid them on top of each other, because this is, this is the next vital bit, what you're gonna do. So the next vital bit, is to, um, it's entirely up to you what size tank size you want to go, tank height you want to go for. So this tank height here is quite a nice height. I'm probably gonna go a little bit higher than this one because um, I'm gonna be putting two FX6s on this tank. So I might go, let's have a look at my tanks inside. Let's, bring it, let's get a tape, let's bring a tape with us. See so my big tank here, is quite high off the ground, isn't it? So let's measure this. So this one's like 800, 870, something like that. So the one behind us is a meter, and this one's like 800, 900. Maybe we'll go 900, because I could get an FX6 in that height really easy. Let's go 900, because it's quite nice off the floor. It's a decision made, 900. Come on, Bella. Okay. Decision made, we're gonna make this thing stand 900 off the ground. So obviously I need to go and cut one, two, three, four, five, six bits of timber at 900 mil. And then we can start screwing it together. Quick tip when you're doing this though, I've got myself some metal shims off the van. What these will do, I'm basically gonna be putting these in the corners, just there, flying them all the way underneath these in a minute, lift these up, put them underneath. And it's just gonna keep everything nice and true. You haven't got to use metal shims, you can use, um, you can use Classic packers like these ones in here, but these metal shims are like 150 mil long, 200 mil long, and they're really nice to get um, all the way under there, and it keeps everything nice and true. But anyway, let's stop going on. Let's go and cut the uh, six bits of timber at 900. Okay, so they're all cut. There's six of them ready to go, all at 900. So what we're basically doing now, we're going to go like that. Okay, you can go that way if you really want to. Um, I'm going to go this way for them. So on the side of the tank, you don't see, well, you're not gonna see as much as you are looking that way at the tank, if you know what I mean. So let's start screwing all these onto the bottom base. And then basically what we're gonna do, once all six of these on, we're gonna lift up the other base on top of it and start screwing them on. And that's the base, near enough done. And then we've just gotta reinforce it. So let's slide these shims, let's slide these shims in underneath here. So everything's gonna be nice and true, like that. And then we can start hammering some big screws in there. Right, so that's all built now. So what we need to do now is basically just turn it round. And if this is square, it's gonna slot in really nicely. But um, looking from here, everything looks nice and square. Um, yeah, really pleased how it's going at the moment. But let's turn this round and basically just all we've got to do then is screw the same again, but the opposite way. Right, there we go. So basically just turned it over. What happens is, obviously this one's screwed because that was the bottom a minute ago. And now the top is the bottom underneath there. Obviously I need to screw all this all together now. See at the bottom, it's all loose, because there's no screws in here. So let's screw this up. And then basically what you're gonna do, in between here, and you can put another one there, it's gonna be all your supports. Here as well, same as the corner. And you're gonna put another support in here, going down there with 42. But let's get all the bottom screwed and I'll show you how to do that as well. Right, that is all screwed together now. So what you wanna do now, this is the top of my tank. So you wanna go around, just feeling these, yeah? So not, you don't want any of these higher than these, okay? They could be a couple mil lower, it wouldn't hurt, but you really want them all to be flush. So go around, just giving them a good feel. Just double checking everything is nice and flat. I'm not gonna lie, I took this one off. It was about three or four mil too high. So I've just uh, just whipped it down on the, the choppy. So that's all done now. But now what we're gonna do, gonna start cutting our braces for all the corners. 
we need four for this corner, four for that corner, and then two for here. So they should all be the same size because the stand should be nice and square. So mine are gonna probably be, my stand's 900 high with these. I reckon without the 4 by 2 which is, what is 4 by 2 100 mil, something like that. I'll be cutting something at like 700-ish, something like that. But um, let's go and cut all them, and then I'll show you the finished product. The stand is complete, apart from obviously the lid, which I've got to go and cut by hand because my uh, my skill saw blade is so blunt. So yeah, it's going to be fun cutting that marine ply. But this is done, look. So I've braced it all the way around here, there, all the way around there. So it's triple braced all the way throughout and everything's nice and snug. So you've got to make all these nice and tight. You want them to um, basically hammer in, not massively, massively tight, but you want them to hammer in and stay there. Okay, because these are um, these are a vital part of the uh, the stand. So everything's triple braced, like I said. That's triple braced around there, same around there, every corner. But yeah, that's um, that's ready for the the lid now, which we're going to go and cut, screw the lid on, and then um, I'm going to let this go off for a few days in here, and um, because it's um, well, it's quite wet. The timber's been outside, so it's got a lot of moisture in it. Let it dry, and then um, I'm going to paint this black. But anyway, let's stop going on, and um, I'll cut the lid. That's it, all done. Let's see how strong it is, shall we? Oh, well, it's strong enough to sleep on, so, and I'm a big lad. But that is how you build a fish tank stand for a heavy duty tank like what we've got out there. So, next step for me now, this stand's all done, apart from the paint. You can do what you like with it. You haven't got to paint it, you can stain it, you can paint it any color you like. You could even um, you could even clad it. You could put like a cedar wood round or a cement board. You could put doors on it. You can do it a lot with it. But I'm just going to paint it black, nice and easy, no messing around. I've got some um, fence pants, uh, fence paint left over from the garden, so I'm going to use that because obviously it's really good for the wood. But yeah, stand done, all ready to go. I've painted it all black as well, so I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love the look of it. Um, I'm going to get the tank on here tomorrow, I've got a few of my uh, lads from work going to give me a quick hand it because surprisingly enough it weighs an absolute ton, so here's the tank here, six foot, it's about 900 litres, something like that, 1000 litres, probably over 1000 litres with the FX6s um, I'll be running on this tank, but as some of you know, so I've had a little bit of a move around in the fish room, I've uh, put all these tanks against this wall for now, flume flex is there, uh, four foot tanks there, one tank, uh, 150 litre, I think, something like that is, is over there. Um, I've got a couple of little tanks set up on the floor at the moment with uh, loads of cichlids in it, some African cichlids in there, so some beautiful specimens. And then um, there's some African cichlids in here as well. So I've got their own tank coming soon, which is gonna be probably put against this wall here. I'm probably gonna put this tank over here. But anyway, let's stop going on because this video is all about the stand. Um, yeah, it's all done. I've got the polystyrene ready to go. Um, the marine ply is obviously underneath there. Painted it all black. 
Now that's one coat of um, black paint that is. I used um, a paint called Cupronol, which is uh, fence paint. I've actually painted my fences as well. I've done them over the weekend, I've done them in a the grey. So yeah, really, uh, really pleased how it comes. And um, how easy the coverage is. And now uh, that's one coat on there, look, and it's, um, it's done all that 4 with 2 a treat. So absolutely over the moon with the way it's come out. But um, that's it. That's the video done, how to build a tank stand. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you've learned something from it. Um, like and subscribe my channel, ding the notification bell, and uh, keep it real, everyone.